What's up? My name's Kamal. <laughs> <laughs> Kamal, like you didn't know what your name was. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. What's up? My name's Kamal, and most of you guys already know that by now, but we're just taking our bumpers apart and getting everything ready to paint. Uh, we have our rear bumper right here. So we're actually going to be taking, separating the top part from the bottom part. Uh, so you can see we have the painted part here and then you have this lower part that they paint black from the factory. And also this, uh, just this little step piece for loading or getting dogs into the trunk and stuff like that. So to get this metal piece, the chrome looking piece off, you have these little things that attach to these little plastic ends. On the bumper that we had totaled with the, the Cayenne, I just took some off because I knew that maybe when I got this, it'd have some missing and it did. Uh, but as you can see here, I, when I pried them off, it actually breaks off the plastic piece that it holds onto. So what I was just saying to Miranda that we should try to do is Maybe actually pry the plastic pieces kind of like away from the plastic before trying to take them off just so we don't break these as well. So it'll have all the clips and be held down properly. For the piece that holds on on the side, looks like there's just one push clip. Uh, on our front bumper, we already actually took it apart to bring it back here because we drove to get it. And there was actually two screws on each side. These just kind of look like push clips. And then we just have these Little pieces here, you kind of just pry to the side and these two pieces separate. So uh, that's what we're going to get done right now. These are in here. Oh, look at that. So, that works out. Yeah, so the, um, there's usually a little gap on one side where uh, I'm basically just poking this and twisting it. to twist it too much. Oh shit, I think I broke that one. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a pain. Okay, kind of saved it a little bit. Still somewhat intact. This one I uh, it's still on there, but kind of got it a little loose. But yeah, cool deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, these are kind of a pain. I don't even know if these are actually like Porsche clips. You know what I mean? I was just trying to push that out. Yeah. actually going to paint the that upper half red and this bottom half titanium gray. So we got the uh, top half of the front bumper. So that's the bottom half of the fog lights. This just attaches to this same way that we took apart the rear bumper. And you can see the grill inserts in here. They're um, just black. But I'm pretty sure if I remember right, the ones on our old bumper were actually the, the titanium gray color. So we were gonna actually pop these out, 
then paint these titanium gray along with those bottom bumper pieces as well. You see on the normal Cayenne S, the bottom pieces are black like that, but on the RS with the titanium edition, those were actually painted red like the rest of the bumper was. But we just kind of wanted to make it a little different and incorporate it as much as the titanium gray as we could. So yeah, we're just gonna pop these out. I'm not sure if this is one whole piece or if these actually um, come out separately. this up with paint is we were actually going to drill some holes right here on our other Cayenne this is actually where like that uh, license plate like bracket screws in I know in my other videos I kind of showed how underneath the front bumper there were all those plastic pieces to kind of direct air I think to just get air to like the bottom of the radiator and I think like the AC condenser is kind of down there so the air would come in here and I guess there was plastic pieces behind here kind of to direct it downward and we were actually looking for a turbo bumper because the turbo bumper this grill opening here actually goes all the way down it's a lot bigger uh, because we didn't get all those plastic pieces that go behind the front bumper to kind of direct the air so what we were going to do instead is just drill some holes here and um went to home depot and got like this uh quarter inch diameter like fencing stuff I guess people like put this like around their uh, trees. Or chicken coops. Yeah, to keep rodents and stuff out or whatever. So we we're actually gonna just use this as like grill material underneath here once we drill those holes because we just wanna make sure there's enough airflow to everything. And I think it would kinda look cool. I mean, it won't look like any other kind of animal road. So yeah, next thing we're gonna do is just kind of figure out where we wanna drill those holes, try and make them pretty and then cut that to stick behind there. And I think what we're going to do to keep this in place is just have some 3M double-sided tape and like hot glue gun. Just maybe use a combination of the both just to make sure this stays on the back of the bumper. So we have this kit here with these, um, just these things. I don't really know what you call them, but we're using the biggest one, which is two and a half inches in diameter. So on the front of the bumper here, just kind of marked a center line from kind of like where this little lip ends to up here, uh, which was, this was about four inches. So this marks kind of, this two inches right in the middle. Yeah, it was kind of confusing to figure out all of this. Kind of just had Moran to figure it out. Uh, we're gonna be doing seven holes. So we are gonna have one in the middle and then basically three on each side. So yeah, this, as you can see, like this actually makes a small hole first and then that, I guess, kind of guides us Keep it in place to make your hole. Uh, this was um, <clears throat> kind of big to start out. So I actually used the smaller drill bit and we just did all the seven holes already. And now I'm gonna put this in the drill and start making the actual holes. to sand the edges. Oh yeah. I think I could have done that a little better, but it was the first try. That see that went through uh quicker than I thought it would really. Yeah. Should we eat it up?
Yeah, we'll have to definitely uh, improve that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's obviously not going to be the prettiest thing ever, but yeah, it works. Mm -hmm. So as you guys saw, we just finished um, sanding the holes just to make them a little more smooth because that tool is pretty jagged. Um, I know there's probably a different tool where you like put a cup on each side and tighten it down to get a more perfect hole, but we made that work and just got like the, all the little extra bits off. Then we um, cut this piece to fit here with a good bit on each side and above and below so we can use that 3M double sided tape and hot glue to make sure it stays in place pretty well. Um, we're also going to be painting this the titanium gray as well to match all the other grill pieces going in. So now I'm just going to clean everything up and uh, just get it ready for painting. Alright so we kind of just set up the garage to paint without getting too much overspray over everything. Just got the uh, roof racks, those front grill pieces, and then that piece we're going to put over the holes we drilled. And this piece goes on the, um, the trunk, like we were saying. Um, and then here's the front bumper with the holes we drilled. This is the rear bumper up here. And then the bottom part of the rear bumper and the bottom part of the front bumper. So we're just gonna prime everything. I think like uh, probably around three coats will be good. <laughs> Are you hiding back here? I'm hiding back here. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, and I think this is saying, I guess give five to ten minutes between coats. And uh, yeah, I mean I'm not that good at painting. But we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it'll be all right. So all we've done so far is the titanium gray. I got like a pint of it and I literally used all of it. The only thing that what doesn't look like completely covered is these grill pieces. There's just like, it's not like the best coverage, but it'll work. And um, yeah, this came out all right. Same with these uh, bumpers. I guess you can kind of tell the difference from this still with the primer versus how these look now with the titanium gray. The last thing to do now is just to clear coat these. Um, yeah. And then we'll see what they look like when it's all clear coated. So when I said I had a pint, it's just basically a bucket like this, just a pint. Yeah, most people know what that is. So yeah, I don't have it out here. I actually brought it inside with this little bottle. We pour the paint in and it's like a aerosol attachment, like a can like this where you screw it onto the bottle and then you can spray the paint that way. I just haven't invested in a paint gun because like I said, I'm not that great at this and it's not like I paint stuff too often. So I don't know uh, how much really see all this stuff. What do you think though? Mm. I mean, you definitely see the meat.
So uh, just finished everything up pretty much. That's everything for as far as painting for all the parts on the Cayenne. Uh, the next videos will just be us assembling everything like on the front bumper, getting the front back together, and then the rear bumper and the rear of the car back together as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys could see, but uh, it's not perfect. It is slightly like textury. But uh, as far as the red color, uh, I think it matches pretty well. So yeah, I mean, that's about as good as you can get it when you're just uh, spraying it by like a can or aerosol type of way. I mean, I maybe could have gotten it better, but we did our best and it'll look all right. So thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the rest of this build and uh, how it ends, which is getting close. So thanks again and I'll see y'all later. Peace.